Hello everyone. This is the observations part of the microscopy video. If you've not looked at the mechanics part of the microscopy video, I highly recommend watching that first. In the mechanics part, I recommend I, I mentioned that we'd be looking at something a bit more interesting than an unstained enterobacter slide. And that's really what this is here. I'm going to be taking you through the protocol of what we see through our um, microscope camera and this should be a uh, a le I guess you call it more of an instructional video less of an instructional video I should say more of an observational video and it's probably going to end up in the observations playlist so we are looking through the Leica ICC 50w camera and we are on 40 times and I'm just going to bring us in and as you can see the slide that you can see is blue that's because I have taken uh, a bacteria, in this case, Sarcina orantica, and I've stained it with a, a biological stain called methylene blue. I've made a heat-fixed smear prep, and I just want to get us to an area where we don't have a ton of cells. I only used around a microliter, but sometimes with these smears, we can get some rather nice clumps. So we're just going to move around a bit start here see where we are so we are currently on the four times objective and i'm going to swing us over into the 10 times objective now as you can see i am letting it settle for a bit before i go right into the fine focus then let's go up one more to the 40 times let's see if we can find some better observations better here we go here's better now the next thing i'm going to do i have some oil immersion uh, oil immersion oil here and i'm going to swing us into oil immersion microscopy and let it settle and now we use our fine adjustment knob to bring the bacteria into focus now as you can see this bacteria as I, I did call it Sarcina orantiaca and the name in this case, the genus, describes the look of the bacteria. Let me move it around here. You can see that the uh, bacteria itself are in these little packets. The packets of eight cells, almost grape-like clusters. That's a sarcina. Now, what you're looking at here inside this is uh, at 100 times magnification. Remember, we are just looking through the oil immersion lens, so it's just 100 times. If you were to look through the ocular, you would have a micrometer so that we can measure, but we would also have an additional 10 times magnification. So when we do that, the packets themselves become easier to see and easier to measure and are generally just bigger, um, which makes it easier to observe them. However, one of the benefits of having a microscope camera is this button right here, acquire image. I can take a picture of it. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. I take a lot of pictures because I think bacteria are cool. And we are just going to change the name of this. This is Sarcina orantica. and 100 times with oil. And yeah, just did S. That's because I used a period. Let's do underscores. There we go. That worked. 
Now, as I mentioned, the stain itself is a stain called methylene blue. It's one of a uh, very simple stain. We'll go over simple staining at a later date. But methylene blue is a simple stain. Uh, it's up there with things like crystal violet, uh, saffronin, unlike a negative stain, things like negrosin or Congo red. Let's uh, do a bit more exploring. Let's see what else we have here. Now, as you can see, when I move, it does go out of focus. That's because we're moving through different areas that have different layers of oil in them. So I do have to adjust the fine adjustment knob every now and then. Let's acquire that image too. What's nice is that in a laboratory setting, I could project this overhead so that uh, when we're at the teaching table, we can have a good view of exactly what it is we're supposed to be looking at. Now, once we're done, we're going to once again move, remove the slide. Slides that have bacteria on them like this go into the bench top keepers. You just have to trust me that I have one off to the side here. And then we start tearing down our microscope by lowering our uh, stage, cleaning our objectives. And in this case, we also would like to turn off the light and then turn off our camera.